could I know that I was gonna be wearing a flower helmet and riding on the back of a 650 cc scooter today. I certainly didn't know it, certainly didn't expect it, but I can't say that I mind it. Okay, lunch is over. We're about some of the last ones to leave, but it's pretty cool to get to drive on a runway or a, a tarmac. So you can see there's planes, Prius, there's 100% Jake leaving. We are the last ones, like I said. Oh, there's AJ. Hi, AJ. Right now, we're actually gonna go head over and see Bob at EuroAsian Auto, and he is gonna let me look at a Mini Cooper Coupe S which I've always loved because they look like little hats and because of the name Mini Cooper Coupe S. Also, it has a retractable spoiler and I'm a huge sucker for those. So we will head down there, uh, maybe get to ride a Bergman, we'll see. And other than that, we will pick this back up over at Bob's. All right, we are at EuroAsian Auto. No, it's around the corner, but we're actually returning the Prius to its home. This is where it originated from. So this is the first time it's been back since purchasing it. 100% Jake is here with us. He's gonna try out the Bergman because that's right up your alley. A 650cc scooter with a CVT. I bet it scoots. Oh. Yeah. All right, anyway, what we're here, what I'm here to look at is that Mini that's around the other side of the Fiat 500. But I'm gonna be making a whole separate video on the Mini, so be on the lookout for that. Here's what we're doing. Bob's gonna let us ride this Bergman like I said, let's see this thing. It's huge. Fired up? Yeah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, it's deceptive though, right? It's so, yeah, it is so deceptive. Quiet. That's the quietest 650 I've ever heard. What's weird is the clutch. Yeah. Can't wrap it up. It goes. But here, dude, this. When you put the kickstand down, it'll actually kick. Oh wow! It turns off. But do this here, Jake. Oh, it'll. It's. That's awesome. Right. Now. Very cool. Now you can run it. Yeah. <laughs> and it's got some serious storage as well, correct? I mean, obviously you've got the, the bag back here, but doesn't like something else open up and it's got... Actually, your seat pop is right here. And check this out. Oh my gosh. That is so deep. Yeah, helmet goes right in. That is impressive. And it's got... A compartment here, another one on the other side. One guy tried and he put, uh, what was it like? The cans, yeah, he was putting the cans, cans in there. It was so funny. Yeah, he was like, how many cans of beer will the Bergman hold? It was hilarious. A little trunk in the back, you know, and you know, like somebody did their little paint, that's painted on oh, too. Oh, wow. Yeah, somebody did some nice fun stuff to it. But, uh, I like this little guy right here, because then, you know, you got the original owner's manual, but it's just, wow. know, why yeah. for a person there, whatever. Do whatever, that's awesome. And it pulls off like a suitcase. Monkey system. I know, that's what I thought too. I was like, mm -hmm. monkey system. It's mono key. <laughs> but it does look like monkey. Oh, oh, it does say, I don't know how it legitimately said monkey system. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, the classic monkey system. Well, you know what's funny is, is I didn't catch that either, Jake, and I thought it said the monkey also. <laughs> yeah, how funny. I'm helping you guys out. You guys missed a letter. Well, uh, here comes Bob with some helmets, so. Let's go get this thing a whirl. All right, so I'm helmeted up right now. You guys like it? I think I got some flowers on the side, but Bob just showed me this, look at this. Huh? Yeah. Oh, I got it. Oh, See, now you're cool. Look at that. This is a look. This <laughs> plus scooter. Let's do this. All right, I know this is where we left off, but I gotta say, this thing rips. It's crazy fast. Now it's Jake's turn to ride it. So, dude, it actually it actually rips. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's fast. It's, it's fast, isn't it? Yeah. All right, here goes Jake. Have fun, Jake. Be careful. Okay, slight audio change, but I had to get mic'd up because Jake and I are gonna take this thing out together. And look how excited he looks about it. You excited? Let's do this. I gotta get my flower helmet back on. Hang on. All right, I'm helmeted up. I get my visor down. Ah. Hang on, Jake, I'm getting on. Well, uh. I, why is the bigger guy sitting on the back? If people didn't think scooters were weird now, they're gonna now. Awesome. Let's go, don't drop me. Hang on, all of Wichita is coming. Yeah, of course. This is social distancing at its finest. Here we go. Woohoo! All right. Oh, 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 Jake's giving it the power. It 
Hey, there's a 93 Corvette. Oh, and there's that Murano Cross Cabriolet with, uh, with, with like 26s. So a rare car with uh, huge wheels. But anyway, that's beside the point. This is just two dudes vlogging on a scooter. Jake chose the traffic route, apparently. apparently. And now he has to balance with my heavy ass on the back. It's okay, I'm just along for the ride. Wichita, why are you like this everywhere? Split traffic, dude. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Imagine two guys splitting traffic on a scooter. That'd be fantastic. One of them wearing a flower helmet. I mean, the helmet's the key. Yeah. At least it's got a visor. Don't mind us, just two guys vlogging. We're just two guys vlogging. Oh, this, this vlog went directions I never expected it to go. That's for sure. I see where the light is. Okay, Jake just said we're in power mode, so we're gonna turn and then, I don't know, wait until we're straight though. You're gonna feel the power. Oh, it actually does make a difference. <laughs> that actually makes a big difference. Okay. Whoa. Okay, so power mode plus manual actually makes a pretty big difference in this thing. I did not ride it like that. So we've decided to get some gas because this thing was low and it's the least we can do for Bob letting us tear it around. I don't okay. know what to do. Do you want me to get off? Here's a question. Where does the gas go? You get up. It's, uh, well, I guess I don't know. Uh, uh. I have to get off so awkwardly. Okay, there we go. So we're getting gas. Just two friends, one big scooter. I gotta say, even I didn't expect the vlog to go this direction. How could I know that I was gonna be wearing a flower helmet and riding on the back of a 650cc scooter today? I certainly didn't know it, certainly didn't expect it, but I can't say that I mind it. Although, we did just get done riding through some twisties and it is very, very unsettling to be on the back of this thing because you're sitting up so high and Jake was really tossing it into the corners. Not really, but it felt like it as a passenger. Okay, we're back on. Put a gallon and a half in. Jake didn't want to put a full three dollars in, so he settled for two ninety-five. <laughs> we're on our way back to Bob's. There's a lot of stuff going on. Ooh, I gotta visor up. As if it wasn't kind of awkward enough, two guys being on a scooter. It's great that it beeps when you put on the turn signal, as if everyone already wasn't looking. Oh look, a fellow motorcycle rider. Look, we're the same. We're the same. successful Bergman ride. We made it, Bob. Sorry, worry about you guys. A honeymoon or crashed. All right, so we're done with the Bergman. We're getting the Mini Cooper cleaned up right now. Like I said, future video coming on that. Jake's gonna come with me, so that'll be nice. Right now we're just looking it over, but again, you'll see this in a future video. Jake's really giving it the once over. These things are just awesome. Look at it. It's so unique looking. All right, they're all finished detailing the Mini Cooper Coupe S. So now we're gonna take it out on the road and make a little video on it. Let's go. Ready for some AC. Max. No, dude. Climate control, auto. It'll do Max itself. Learn the ways of auto. Yeah, but manual lead us jerks. Oh my gosh. We're already in a manual. That we are, so why are you using auto AC? Because it's there. I was just going to ask where the spoiler button was. It's right here. Yeah. So this is how you retract the rear spoiler. Let's see. It's... Does it have to think about it? Oh, there it goes. Wait. No? Aha! There we go. That's how you do it. I heard it. Anyway, let's get out on the road. So we are driving the Mini Cooper Coupe S and getting on the highway here. Um, let's see how it does. I've got a little traffic, but still should be... Whee! Turbo! We're already up to highway speeds. And I mean, coming from a Prius, everything feels pretty zippy, but this thing really is pretty quick, especially for uh, 181 horsepower. Doesn't seem like a lot, but if you put it in a little enough car, this thing hauls. Oh, my spoiler's up, look, run. Yay. The spoiler is up because we're at speed. Because this is still a vlog. We are not reviewing this car yet. Right now we're gonna go get some beverages because it is hot and Jake and I are both parched. So off to Quick Trip we go. All right, made it to Quick Trip. This thing is 
It's fun. It's zippy. We've graduated from domestic couple on a Suzuki Bergman to domestic couple in a tiny in a, in a teal hat car. Yep. It's designed to look like a hat. Watch my next video. You'll see. Hold on. Got to throw this away first. All right. Cool. Thanks, Jake. Appreciate it. Yep. This is the real vlog experience. It's vlogging inside a convenience store, a.k.a. Quick Trip. Cut to rolling taquitos. I am far couple, too. A couple of these are uh, stuck. I know, I you're uncomfortable. I'm far too self-conscious to go waving at the camera around on quick trips. I am too, but we're alone over here. We got our own little private uh, vlog nook. I'm gonna go bougie. I'm gonna go like full on smart water. You know what, it's two for four. I'm, I'm, li I'm liquiding up. I'm all about wild cherry because I am in fact a wild cherry. Shout out wild cherry Pepsi, link in the description below. Shout out smart water, also link in the description below. Okay, quick trip run complete. Getting back in the Mini Cooper Coupe S. Look at our little Union Jack mirrors. It's so cool. All right. We are hydrated up from Quick Trip. I've got the car in sport mode now. We are going over to film. Let's see how this thing does. First gear pull. <laughs> A little bit of torque steer, but I mean, wow. That was pretty fast for a zero to 60 run considering I just went from one to two to four. Spoiler came up, that's how you know we're going fast. This thing rips. This road is great. Yes, it is. This thing really does rip, especially for its size and speed. This is a hell of a car for around $10,000. That's that's for sure. Feels sporty, feels solid. And later on, we're gonna see how it handles. But right now, we've got water rolling around. I know Jake hates that I didn't rev match that. Deal with it. Okay, like I said before, anytime somebody lets you borrow their car, you gotta put a little gas in it. At least, you know, it just helps even things out. Anyway, well, let me show you the gas process in this Mini Cooper Coupe S. Open it up, and you know how I like the gasoline holder in the Prius? Well, look at this. It's got one, too. You just put it right there, and it holds it for you. That's pretty neat. All right, let's get some fuel in this thing. All right, we are done getting gas, and you'll notice I'm getting into the passenger side because 100% Jake is gonna drive this one. I unintentionally put a lot more fuel in this than I wanted to. Okay, look at that. <laughs> I, put, I, put, I was gonna like squirt some fuel in it because this car is still for sale. Yep. And this thing, it feels so fast even from the passenger seat, and this thing's pretty well heat soaked right now too. It feels quite a bit quicker from the passenger seat, honestly. It feels awesome. <laughs> That's how slow Jake thinks it is. He had to check the handbrake. Well, the brake light on the dash. Unbelievable. Is... No, wait, no, it's not. No, it's not. The, 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 everything's fine. This car has zero no lights. lights. Are on. <laughs> okay. Oh, you can see the. the, the, the... Yeah, the, the wing, isn't the it cool? Flippy boy. So one thing as a passenger, well, actually I noticed this as a driver, but I'll go over it as a passenger. I was looking, you know, you got your toggle switches up here, which are really cool. What I saw was this, and this looks like a button that you would press to like, do something, but it doesn't do anything. It's in fact the passenger airbag off light. It just is so prominent. Oh, look at our spoiler up. It looks so cool back there. I love retractable spoilers. All right, let's check this action out. Oh, that's a, you know, that's a small mirror. You know, it's not a selling point of a car for me, but I know my wife would enjoy a mirror that is uh, more substantial. Jake is enjoying that mid-range torque. It's it's I, fun. I drive a Miata. I don't know what torque is. <laughs> Turbo torque is just fun regardless. This car is just, it's fun in a whole different way. You missed it, but it's okay. You can get there from the next one. You know, one thing about this car is it's hard to do that YouTube thing where you're like, oh, we're not speeding because the, the speedo is right in the middle. 
normally you you know the speedo is over here and you can be like what we just were going you know accelerating quickly to the speed limit not so in this car also a little behind the scenes fact youtubers sometimes lie about how fast they go no there we go can we keep up with a hummer oh well yeah i'm actually gonna be on its on its butt here we go Just got done fin finishing the quick review for this car, so now it's time to give it back to Bob. This car's awesome. I mean, I already wanted one just because of the uniqueness, but I can't tell if I want one more just as much now after experiencing it. Either way, that's always a good thing when you drive a car you already liked to drive it and then still like it. But overall, a good day. I mean, we got to uh, tandem ride a Bergman, and now we got to kind of tandem review a Teal Mini. Also, not to mention the car called Lunch that we did. That was fun. So it's, it's been a car day. I wish I knew how hot it was. That is that is one minor gripe on this car. I need an exterior temperature readout. Hey, Google. What's the temperature? Oh my God, it actually worked. That literally never works. Apparently it's 92 degrees. I can literally count on one hand the number of times that saying, hey, Google has actually functioned. Oh my gosh, it did it again, sort of. Wow. Isn't technology grand when it works? That's pretty neat, guys. It is spoiling back there. So cool. Everyone on the road thinks we're so cool right now. I'm sure. Do you know how cool people with retractable spoilers are? They're pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, what else has a retractable spoiler? Bugatti Ex Veyron. Expensive cars. Carrera GT. Carrera GT. 911s. 911s. R8s. Chrysler Crossfires. Volkswagen Beetle Turbo. Pretty much only the coolest cars All, have all expensive spoilers. exotics, of course. A million railroad tracks right here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Last one's a doozy. Okay. So, rides like a sport compact coupe hat car. Funny thing about that. All right, so we have dropped the Mini Cooper Coupe S back off at Bob's. And it is time to go home, isn't it, Jake? Or whatever. It's time to leave. Separate. Yeah. Yeah. All right. See you, man. See you. Okay, guys. So that's going to do it. This video has been crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And other than that, please give me a like, comment, share, subscribe, all the other normal YouTube stuff. And I will see you on the next video.